May 2012. A NASA satellite passes over the shallow waters of the Indian Ocean. It sends back images of a chain of largely submerged objects running between Sri Lanka and India. Looks like a string of pearls between two islands. It looks to me like a rocky jetty, but this thing looks pretty big. On closer analysis of the satellite image, investigators calculate the line of rocks is over 30 miles long. What makes the image especially intriguing is that the rocks are in an area of sea mentioned in an ancient Hindu poem. A poem which also refers to a magic bridge. There are Hindu legends that the god Rama placed a bridge here connecting India to Sri Lanka. The Hindu poem Ramayana tells an epic story in which Lord Rama battles to rescue his wife from the many-headed Ravana. The evil ten-headed monster Ravana captures her and takes her to this faraway island. Lord Rama enlists the help of a magic army to build a bridge long enough to reach her. A whole army of semi-divine monkeys build this chain of islands carrying stones to create a land bridge. The stones in the satellite image are sitting on something oceanographers call a shoal or sandbar. These occur in an area where there's shallow waters and sand could accumulate between the two land masses. The sandbar may be natural, but what's sitting on top of it is not. This isn't just a simple sandbar. There's objects in here that haven't been eroded away. There are stones that have been brought from afar and set on top of our sandbar island chain. How these stones got here is a mystery. And when a team of geologists date the stones, the mystery deepens. The rocks on top of the sand actually predate the sand. So there's more to the story. Scientific analysis reveals the rocks are 7,000 years old, but are sitting on top of sand that is only 4,000 years old. These results suggest the structure in the satellite image isn't natural, but built by humans, or, according to sacred texts, demigod monkeys. What's possible that ancient people transported stones in to cover areas to make them higher and make it more passable to keep the bridge intact. Some scholars believe the ancient texts referred to a time 5,000 years ago. At this point in history, building such a long bridge would have been a superhuman achievement. How could humans so long ago build such structures? Well, we actually know that they can. The pyramids of Egypt that are 4,500 years old, gigantic structures. And even places today in Turkey, ancient Anatolia, like Gobekli Tepe, huge temple structures, 20 feet and higher. And we know we can securely date these at Gobekli Tepe to 11,000 years ago. In India and Sri Lanka, powerful ancient dynasties ruled the land, capable of mobilizing thousands to build incredible grand palaces and mysterious religious monuments. We should never underestimate people of the past. They actually were very clever engineers, and they certainly would have found a way to maintain this connection using other stones and, and bring them in to actually make some type of a bridge between Sri Lanka and India. Now, a team of Indian archaeologists are about to embark on the first ever underwater expedition to explore this mystery structure. If archaeological investigation actually finds that these chains of islands was indeed made by humans, it really could change our understanding of ancient peoples and times and technologies.